Hello, hello! It's Misha again, and welcome back to Shate Cookbook. Today, we're gonna make bibimbap, which is Korean mixed rice. It is an amazing combination of hot white rice, bulgogi beef, a variation of sauteed veggie, and a special chili sauce. This colorful dish is so good, so you gotta try this out. And with all that said, let's get started. First, we're gonna start with the bulgogi beef. We need one and a half pound of beef flank, one red apple, a quarter cup of soy sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of mirin, one teaspoon of grated ginger, and one tablespoon of minced garlic. Here is the apple puree that I just made with a food processor. It is used as a sweetener and tenderizer for the beef. The authentic bulgogi recipe was calling for Asian pear, but it's not easy to get at any grocery store, so a red apple would be a great replacement. I'm adding all the ingredients to the beef and mix well. Then I cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Don't forget to slice the beef thinly and against the grain. The sweet and savory flavor are just going so well together, which makes bulgogi the most popular Korean barbecue dish. Next, we're gonna make the bibimbap sauce. We're using half cup of Korean red chili paste, a quarter cup of honey, two tablespoons of sesame oil, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and one tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. I am mixing all the ingredients together until I have an incorporated sauce. Korean red chili paste or gojujang is a sweet, savory, and spicy fermented condiment widely used in Korean cuisine. It is also very thick and concentrated, so I like to mix it with honey for the sweetness and sesame oil to thin it out. Therefore, it will be easier to mix in the rice. It comes with different spicy level, so you may need to pay attention to it. We also need 16 ounces of spinach, 1 medium carrot, 2 medium zucchinis, 8 ounces of bean sprouts, some kimchi, 1 egg per serving, some roasted sesame seeds and sesame oil. For the carrot, I'm cutting it into matchsticks. Please try to cut it as the same size so it be cooked evenly. I'm also cutting zucchini into thicker and even strips. For the spinach, I quickly blanch them with boiled water, let them soak for 2 minutes, then transfer them to an ice bath in order to stop the cooking and keep them green. And then I squeeze out all the excess water in them. Spinach are shrinking a lot when cooked since they contain 90% of water, so you may need to get more than you think. Then I give them a few cuts to make them shorter so they be easier to mix in the rice. To give the spinach some flavor, I'm adding in the roasted sesame seeds, sesame oil, and salt. Mix them up really well and set aside. Now moving to the bean sprouts. In the large non-stick pan, I'm heating some veggie and sesame oil on high heat. Then I stir fry the bean sprouts for only 3 minutes. I also sprinkle in some salt. Bean sprouts get cooked easily and we want to keep them crunchy. So as soon as they kind of turn translucent, you can turn off the heat. Using the same pan, I'm heating up some more veggie and sesame oil. Then I stir fry the zucchini. And don't forget the salt. Stir fry until they get crisp tender on high heat. It will take about 5 minutes and please don't let them get mushy. I repeat the same process to the carrot. Stir fry them with veggie and sesame oil, followed by a little salt until they get too crisp tender as well. And now it's time for the protein. In the same non-stick pan, I'm stir frying the well-marinated bulgogi beef on high heat until medium well. They are very tender and absolutely flavorful, even when they are marinated with just a few simple ingredients. 
I also toss them with some sesame oil at the end for the nutty taste. And last but not least, a beautiful sunny side of egg right before serving. Here comes my favorite part, assembling this colorful dish. I'm starting with placing an egg in the center of a bed of hot white rice. I highly recommend using Japanese short grain rice. Otherwise, jasmine rice is also a good choice. And then I'm putting a little bit of everything in the bowl. Doesn't it look so yummy? It is such a beautiful and healthy dish. I know there's a lot of ingredients and preparation, but I promise it is definitely worth your effort. Bibim means mixing and bap means rice in Korean. So you gotta give it a nice good mix before having your first spoon. It'll be full of different flavors and textures, but going so well together thanks to the chili sauce. Just make sure everything is well combined and enjoy! Thank you for watching our video on how to make Korean mixed rice. I hope you enjoy and until next time, bye!